Hi everyone, so this video today is all about 3D printing for absolute beginners. I'm going to take you through everything you need to know about getting started with 3D printing, from which printer to choose, what materials you'll need, and how to get started exactly step by step, finding a model and printing it. I'll show you exactly how to print something like the design that you're seeing on the screen right now. And I'll even show you how you can make a fun time-lapse video like this. So let's briefly review how 3D printers work. 3D printers work by layering thin layers of melted plastic, one on top of each other in a very precise way to create your three-dimensional object. So here we've created this really cool looking woven pencil holder. And this is done by slowly layering thin layers of melted plastic, one on top of each other, in the pattern to create this three-dimensional object. And so these 3D printers that we're going to be talking about today are all FDM printers, which stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. And these printers all use those thin layers of fused plastic to create the 3D models that you're seeing on the screen. Layer by layer, it builds the object in a really precise fashion. So what kind of things can you make with a 3D printer? Let's show you a few of the things that I've made. So of course, some of the most fun things are these 3D printed articulated uh, prints. This one's a Corgi. And then this one with this really cool dual color PLA is an articulated dragon. Those are fun to print off and great for fidget toys. Then there's this Q-tip gun. My kids love this one. Uh, super fun um, kids toys that you can make. And then some interesting things like this 3D printed fabric. This could be used as a drink coaster, but you can even print more intricate fabric designs with your 3D printer. And then we have some useful things like this is a 3D printed travel clothes hanger. So this actually works. It's fully functional. It works as a clothes hanger. And uh, yeah, you can 3D print this off and then use it for traveling. Another useful toy is this 3D printed train track. So those wooden train track pieces are pretty expensive. And if you just need one piece, you might want to just 3D print it for only a few cents. This is a flexible TPU material and therefore I made a flexible phone case for my phone. So, so many great things you can build, this clothespin, so many designs that are actually useful and practical for life and also some fun ones like this 3D printed chess piece that's a Pokemon theme set. So lots of different options of what you can print with your 3D printer. So obviously to get started with 3D printing, you're gonna need a 3D printer. I have two 3D printers that I consider to be my workhorses. These are my favorite beginner friendly 3D printers and this is the Flashforge Adventure 5M as well as my Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, which I'll show you in a second. Both of these printers have some really nice beginner features. In particular, the FlashForge is uh, very low assembly and has auto leveling, which is really nice for beginners. This is the Elegoo 3 Neptune Pro, which is how I make these awesome time-lapse videos. Both of these printers are great for beginners. They're honestly at a similar price point. I don't think you can go wrong between those two. Um, and those are the printers that I generally recommend. Put in a little shout out for this one, which is the X Maker uh, from AOSeed. This printer, if you're looking for something that absolutely doesn't require any technical skill at all and you just want to use an app to pick designs, then this one's probably the easiest printer out there, but it's got some limitations overall. So I'll link all these 3D printers in the description. And of course, you can always check out my YouTube videos, which detail all of these 3D printers in a full review. So of course, the other thing you need to consider is the type of filament that you are going to purchase for your 3D printer. Filament is the material that you feed into the 3D printer to create your three-dimensional objects. It comes in spools like this that you attach usually to the back or the top of your printer, and then the filament goes in through the extruder and it's melted into the um, plastic to create your three-dimensional objects. So this one is a PLA. PLA is the most popular type of 3D printing material filament. It's the easiest to work with. It's the most affordable. You can get it in a whole wide variety of colors. 
Um, and PLA is definitely my favorite um, filament to work with. So created this print in place car, um, super easy to work with. It works at a fairly wide variety of temperatures, but of course on the label, it talks about the temperatures that it's preferred to work at. Um, you can see a bunch of different types of PLA. So there's like shiny PLAs, multicolor PLAs. This one is one of my favorites, which is the glow in the dark PLA. So I'll just show you here. I printed this 3D printed articulated skeleton and let's turn off the light. So cool. It's so awesome how uh, this one works. My kids love this. This is great to give out as little treats on Halloween. Uh, so, so many different things you can do with PLA. Another type of filament that you might want to consider if you're wanting to make something that is flexible is TPU. So TPU, unlike PLA, which is a hard plastic, TPU is flexible. So this is a phone case that I printed out. You can see it's very flexible. TPU is a little bit harder to work with. You need to make sure you have a good 3D printer. Again, the 3D printers I mentioned work well with TPU. And it's a little bit more finicky in terms of the print settings and temperatures, but again, you can follow what's written on the label for your type of TPU. You can get it in a bunch of different uh, colors, and you can even see that it's just flexible when you're holding on to the filament here. This one is a PLA+. Plus. PLA plus is a little bit better PLA. It has some additives that make it stronger, uh, that make it a little bit more flexible than PLA. And so it's becoming a very popular type of filament as well. A little bit pricier than PLA, but um, again, it may give you a better quality print. This one is really cool. So it kind of has like a marble finish. And you can see here that my 3D printed um, pencil holder has this kind of stone like finish which is pretty cool um, so again you can get this PLA plus in a whole bunch of different um, patterns colors and designs there's also PETG which is similar to PLA plus PLA plus is kind of in between PLA and PETG it's again a little bit harder to work with but a little bit of a stronger type of filament so you may want to use that for some projects vast majority of the printing i do i just use regular pla you can buy all of these on amazon just look for which ones have good reviews there's lots of different brands that are great for filaments and i just check the reviews when i'm looking at which filament i want to buy so the next step in getting started with your 3D printer is to find a 3D model to print. And so these are the websites that I recommend to go looking for your 3D model. One is thingiverse.com. You can see here there's a bunch of uh, print models that you can look at and search. There's also Cults 3D, Cults 3D. Uh, which is another website that has a whole variety of different 3D printed models to choose from. You can click on these and you can download the STL file to print these off. My favorite is printables.com. Printables um, I think they have a really nice, uh, easy to use interface here. And I like how they have these contests where you can see the best of the best in certain categories. So you can look and see that there are a bunch of different type of objects that you can click on and uh, print off the design. So I'm going to show you how I uh, got that castle coin by searching for it here. So this is the model that I downloaded that you saw uh, in the time lapse video at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to click on this can see here that model and so all you need to do to be able to print this is download the STL file and then slice it so you can see here you can go to files you can look there is a cover that you can also download but the castle uh, coin catcher is right here for download and it's an STL file you just click that and it'll start the download 
So the next step in getting your 3D model on the printer is to slice the 3D model. And you'll need to use a slicing software for that. So this is Elegue Cura. Cura is one of the most popular slicing uh, softwares as well as Prusa is another popular slicing software. For the FlashForge printer, which I mentioned earlier, they also have flash print slicing software. So whichever software is recommended by um, your 3D print company or Cura uh, is compatible with most 3D printers um, is a great option. And so what you're going to do is you're going to open the file, that STL file, that castle slide coin catcher, and it's going to place your 3D model on this virtual print bed. And then you're going to slice it by clicking slice here, which will create a computer code that tells your printer exactly how to create this 3D model by slowly layering plastic one on top of the other. Just to note, there are some settings here. So if you look here on the side, you can scale or rotate your model here. So you can see here on the side, these are the uh, ways to adjust your model within the slicing software. You can also pick which type of material you're going to use. So if you were going to use a different type, for example, PETG, you could set the settings to generic PETG here. And then you can also adjust the printer settings in more detail. I tend to stick with the standard settings for my printer. So I have it set for my Elegoo 3 Neptune Pro. But you can make adjustments if you're having trouble with your prints or if you're wanting to be more specific. And then you simply click slice and that will create a, another file, which again is that code to send to your 3D printer. For the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, you can use uh, a micro SD card to transfer the file to the printer. And then what you'll do is you will save that file to that external drive and upload it on the printer. You'll note that this print is going to take 6 hours and 48 minutes on the Elegoo 3 Neptune Pro. So again, I'll show you this time-lapse video of that 6 hour print over time, building up layer by layer. By the way, I'm making this time-lapse video with something called Beagle Cam, Beagle Print Camera. I'll link it in the comments. It's a camera that can not only help you make these cool time-lapse videos, but it does also allow you to control your printer remotely. So if there's any errors or your print fails, you can turn off your printer and you won't risk having a printer um, filament clog, which can be... Uh, very detrimental to your printer. So this is how the print looks off the print bed. I think it's super fun. I printed this one for my kids as a piggy bank and they love the fact that it has this coin slide. I think it's a really cool first print to potentially try as it just shows you some of the amazing things that you can print on your 3D printer uh, out of a spool of plastic. Again, you can find lots of different models online. And if you really want to uh, start learning how to design your own prints, you can use something like Tinkercad to make your own custom 3D designs. So overall, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and review of the basics of 3D printing. I've got some videos looking at some of the most common 3D printing mistakes that are worthwhile checking out as well as a review of all the print arts that we talked about in the video on my youtube channel don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in more 3d printing and other tech content